to the graduation ceremony for the Fairmont Senior High School class of 2023. The ceremony will begin shortly. At this time, we would like to remind you that this is a momentous and dignified occasion. The use of noisemakers is discouraged and prohibited. Please be sure to silence your cell phones or other electronic devices at this time. Please remain standing as we honor our country with the singing of the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn the divine what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming who brought stripes and bright stars to the pale of the sky on the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket At this time, I would like to welcome Senior Class President Peyton Neal to the stage. Good evening, Dr. Heston, dignitaries, Fairmont Senior High School, staff, parents, grandparents, and loved ones. I am Peyton Neal, Senior Class President, and I would like to welcome everyone to the graduation ceremony for the Fairmont Senior High School class of 2023. We are here this evening to celebrate this huge accomplishment in our lives. Every one of you has made an impact in some way on at least one or more of the graduates that sit here today. You have helped shape us into the people we are today and we hope that you will be proud of what we are still to become. This class had our freshman year interrupted by COVID, yet we persevered. We are resilient and our presence today is proof that we can handle whatever the world throws at us. Please join me in applauding the amazing class of 2023. Now please welcome our counselor, Mr. Eddie. Good evening. It is my pleasure to, to introduce to you our highest honor graduates. These students have maintained a cumulative grade point average of 3.75 or above for all four years of high school. Please stand as your name is called and audience, please hold your applause until the end. James Armstrong, Madison Aubrey, Ashlyn Bennington, Nathaniel Boyers, Hunter Bragg, Reese Carpenter, Adeline Sinelli, Kaylin Cochran, Emma Davis, Jalen Devers, Denzel Duvert, Stella Episcopo, Samuel Fisher, Nathaniel Flower, Leah Floyd, Abigail Frederick, Jared Galloway, Garrett Gooley, Kathleen Gribben, Avery Guerreri, Clara Hager, Isabella Hannig, Capri Harmon, 
Aubrey Harrison, Janisa Hayes, Michaela Hose, Kyra James, Haley Jordan, Nathan Kidd, Carter King, Shaquille Kawanda, Abigail Laird, Eliana Linger, Cameron Morgan, Peyton Neal, Caden Newton, Nevea Owens, Marin Parker, Nevea Primo, Trevin Price, Delaney Pyle, Alexis Ramsey, Ella Roberts, Jelena Richling, Kate Sivak, Staley Spencer, Teresa Starin, Paris Thomas, Amelia, Amelia Telema, Audrey Tobesman, Kendall Villers, Noah War, Chelsea Wilson, Michaela Woods. Please welcome our first inspirational speaker, Kaylin Armstrong. Former South African President and Revolutionary Nelson Mandela wrote in his 1995 autobiography, The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Throughout our high school years, everyone has come short of their goals at one point. And although we'd like to be flawless, failure is inevitable. Despite the setbacks that I and all of my peers have endured, the fact you all are sitting here today is an immense success. So congratulations and thank you. Our next inspirational speaker is Madison Aubrey. Dear senior class, thank you for the moments we have shared together. Not a single one of us is here today and has done it alone. We are the product of those who have loved us, believed in us, shown, a, shown kindness to us, and those that instilled hard work and resilience in us. Today, we leave this structure and framework to chart our own paths. So in the wise words of Taylor Allison Swift, it is the end of a decade, but the start of an age. Everything you lose is a step you take. So make the friendship bracelets. Take the moment and taste it. You've got no reason to be afraid. And finally, long live the walls we crashed through. I had the time of my life with you. Thank you and God bless. Our next speaker is Kaylin Cox. parents, friends, and class of 2023. As Benjamin Franklin once said, do not fear mistakes. You will know failure. Continue to reach out. We should be focused on being successful, not being perfect. We are going to fall down and potentially even stay down for a bit, but it is important to get back up and keep trying. We have to keep moving forward and putting in the effort to be successful. Going into the future, we're we need to be mindful that we may fall, fail, or be discouraged, but it should not stop us from being resilient. We are all going to be going different directions and will be challenged with different obstacles of varying degrees, but it should not discourage us to the point of calling it quits. You must keep going down your path and learning from your mistakes. Our next speaker is Emma Davis. once said, change is the end result of all true learning. These words cannot more perfectly describe my time spent at Fairmont Senior High School over the last four years. Because of the inspiring people around me, my family, friends, teachers, and the rest of the excellent Polar Bear staff, I've been able to grow and change both as a student and as a person. I hope to use the fruitful knowledge to continue growing as I embark on my new journey in this ever-changing world. 
and I hope the same for my fellow classmates. Thank you. Our next speaker is Leah Floyd. Class of 2023, 13 years ago, we started a long journey to graduation, one that is finally coming to an end. Some of us have learned and grown up beside each other for that entire time, others we have met along the way. No matter what path has gotten us here, life has brought us all together in this moment of celebration. After we leave the stadium today, we will each continue on our own paths. I would like to leave you with a pledge, one that has helped get me here, to guide you on your way. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living. I hope that you all may take this pledge for yourselves as you continue on whatever path you may choose. Never stop learning, never stop loving, never stop living life to the fullest. Congratulations again, and I wish you all the best. Our next speaker is Abigail Frederick. Zach Bryan said, they told you it would go quick, but you never tend to listen. Fairmont Senior has presented me with opportunities and memories that I will forever cherish. I have found the best friends and been given the education that will help me transition into the next phases of my life. Thank you, Fairmont Senior. Good luck to my classmates, and may God bless you all. Our next speaker is Clara Hager. Congratulations, class of 2023. We did it. We have spent almost 5,000 hours all for a sweaty handshake from Mr. Green and a piece of paper. Of course, I'm only kidding. This piece of paper means incredibly more than that. This diploma encompasses scholarship, hardship, tears, laughter, friendships, and hours of hard work. Be proud of yourselves. As Vital Sanson once said, the only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. So work hard, class of 2023, be great, and let's make a difference. Thank you. Our next speaker is Capri Harmon. First Timothy 4.12 says, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Instead, set an example for the believers through your speech, behavior, love, and faith. It does not matter what age you are, but what kind of person you are. The diploma we receive today does not reflect who we are, but our actions towards others will. So speak politely, behave honorably, love with dignity, <clears throat> no PDA, and have faith in your future. Our next speaker is Aubrey Harrison. Emily Dickinson once said that it will never come again is what makes life so sweet. Fairmont Senior High School has given me the opportunity to create new friendships that will last a lifetime, encourage me to try new things, and push me to be the best version of myself. It may be sad to move on, but the memories I have made will carry on with me for the rest of my life. So, thank you to everyone who has seen me through my high school journey, and best of luck for the future to my graduating class. Our next speaker is Haley Jordan. Leonardo DiCaprio once said, if you can do what you do best and be happy, you are further along in life than most people. Whether we'd like to admit it or not, everybody views life as a competition. Some strive for the highest grades, while others strive to have the most money. Throughout the entirety of our high school career, choices have been made for us, leaving many of us on an even playing field. It's now, as we begin our journey through adulthood, that the choices of our future are put in our very own hands. Use these opportunities wisely. Life is too short to waste any moment, so do what you love. Strive to make the right decisions. Jump leaps and bounds, all, all towards finding what you do best, all towards finding your happiness. Once you accomplish this, you'll have set yourself up for a successful, but most of all, enjoyable life. Our next speaker is Cameron Morgan. American 
Christian historian and feminist Laurel Thatcher Ulrich stated that well-behaved women seldom make history. Now, Ulrich isn't speaking of bad women. She's speaking of women who push boundaries, act courageously, and display self-respect. Be defiant to those who try to restrain you, because in order to make your impact, you must be willing to raise your voice. Our next speaker is Peyton Neal. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. To my fellow classmates, as we turn the page to our next chapter of life, I encourage you to never sell yourself short. Never become complacent and always challenge yourself. Failure is bound to happen, that is how we learn, and that is how we will grow. With every life lesson, take something positive from it and move forward. Any dream can easily become a reality. Never give up, give up on yourself. Class of 2023, continue to shoot for the stars. Our next speaker is Maren Parker. Vincent Van Gogh once said, normality is a paved road. It's comfortable to walk, but no flowers grow. For the past 12 years, we have been walking a road paved by Fairmont Senior High School, but we have reached the end of the asphalt. It is time to venture on, and I have full confidence that each and every new path, although not always smooth or straightforward, will be uniquely beautiful. Thank you to all those who paved my road, my family, friends, and educators, and best of luck to my peers as they continue their trek. Our next speaker is Nevea Primo. Dear Fairmont Senior Graduates, today is the day to contemplate your accomplishments and perseverance throughout your academic journey. As you move forward, it's a time to acknowledge that a significant chapter of your life has come to an end, one that has played a significant role in shaping you into the person you are today. Remember this moment in the back of your mind and reminisce about the fond memories you've shared over the past four years and treasure the friendships you've made. As Taylor Allison Swift said, scary news is you're on your own now. Cool news is you're on your own now. Our next speaker is Delaney Pyle. Before I begin, I would like to sincerely thank those who have made my high school experience as impactful as it was. If you would have asked me four years ago if I would speak at my graduation, I probably would have burst into tears at the thought. However, I stand in front of you today with nothing but gratitude in my heart. Louisa May Alcott wrote, I am not afraid of storms for I am learning how to sail my ship. High school has been a journey. In these four years, we have built relationships and had experiences that have shaped us as people. Maybe you didn't achieve all the goals you set out to, but remember, it is not too late. We will not leave here today the same people we were yesterday or the people we will become. Hopefully, fellow graduates, we can use the lessons we acquired as polar bears to make the journey we are embarking on a little easier. As we move on to the next step of our lives, I wish you nothing but success and happiness. Congratulations, class of 2023. Our next speaker is Good evening, family, friends, and class of 2023. We have come a long way, yet it happened in the blink of an eye. I may not have grown up with any of you since childhood, but one thing I did notice these past four years was this. Your determination, your dedication, and your successes. This class has been so successful, I don't know where to begin. It has shown in our sports, our academics, our arts, but most importantly in our hearts. No matter how difficult classes were, how difficult the competition was, or how difficult time got, we pushed through so we can be here at this very moment. Ever since COVID, everything changed for us. There was heartache, depression, anxiety, and so much more during that time. But I saw through each day and each year how that didn't stop us from wanting to leave a leg legacy behind. I'm so proud and grateful to be part of a graduating class with an ex with excellent su succession, leaving behind Fairmont Senior. Thank you for your time, and I hope everyone has a blessed evening. Our next speaker is Staley Spencer. Octavia Spencer once said, it's your turn to choose and define what success means to you. Now others will try to define it for you, but yours is the only voice that matters. Class of 2023, 
It's not our time to use our voices and choose our successes. Our next speaker is Teresa Sterrett. Someone once said, nothing in life is impossible as long as you take that first step. These last four years of high school have been the stepping stones of our lives. We spent the past four or more years together growing and seeing each other shape into adults. We have made many memories and mistakes that we've learned from, but without those moments, we wouldn't be here today saying goodbye. We are off to the next chapters of our lives. Therefore, don't take time for granted because it really all does disappear right in front of you. Our next speaker is Paris Thomas. A poem by Rachel Huckle. I think I am praying to a God who doesn't exist. By this I mean I am praying to a God who does only logical things, proportionate things, things within the realm of human capability. I admit my prayers have become pocket-sized, even though our God can carry the whole world in his back pocket. I need to pray for miracles like a farmer prays for rainfall, each day looking upwards to ask for transformation in this land. I need to ask for restoration in unfathomable amounts, something like a generation turning to Jesus, something like a war-torn country knowing peace, or something like the plains of destruction being made new. There is an audacity to these prayers, yes, but wouldn't it be even more audacious to pray asking God to move a blade of grass when he has told us that he has the power to move mountains. Friends, let's pray for bigger things. <laughs> our, next, our next speaker is Audrey Tobesman. In his song, Say Goodbye to Hollywood, Billy Joel writes, Life is a series of hellos and goodbyes. I'm afraid it's time for goodbye again. Today is one of our most significant goodbyes. Some of us will stick together for years to come, but most of us will be saying goodbye. However, this means we get to fill our futures with bright new hellos. As we go off to college, the military, join the workforce, or whatever your future may hold, it will be brilliant and beautiful. So here's to a sad goodbye, but to brilliant hellos. I would now like to introduce our student body president, Rosario Jones. Good evening, class of 2023, as well as those who fall under the sound of my voice today. On this day, May 27th of 2023, 178 seniors, 178 adults, will have completed an entire chapter in their life. Today, each and every one of you who's loafers and high heels and boots grace the stage today shall close this final chapter. Congratulations, you made it. To those of you who missed out on this adventurous four-year timeline, I'll quickly bring you up to speed. Freshman year, a simpler time, yes, a time nice to reflect on. However, I wouldn't go back. Sophomore year, a year of distance, loss, confusion, and sleeping until 3 p.m. Junior year, now, this is when we slowed down. We weren't given a normal high school experience. When you begin your junior year, returning after a hiatus in the wake of the destruction of normalcy, it's a pleasant shock. Despite those words being totally contradictory, the shocking level of normalcy upon our return to those bustling lockered hallways was relieving. Now, senior year, it was almost as if the last three years had never happened. The scars are still there, but they faded and we've grown. That's what it's all about, right? The growth. Moving forward with something we didn't have before. The last four, heck, the last 12 years of our lives have been centered around this very concept, this very moment. But that's only half of what this is about. This day is about something maybe even greater. This day marks an important milestone on our road to purpose. This moment, today, right now, is where you decide your purpose. <laughs> or maybe it isn't. I have no idea. And it's really not up to me. Isn't that beautiful, though? That at any given moment in time, you can make a choice that will change your life forever. You. I. We've come so far. Every day I've had the privilege of growing up with you. 
You've taught me lessons about myself that I would have never understood. Even things of... <laughs> when we were young, we were often told that adulthood is something to fear and childhood is something to treasure. However, I look at it differently. The challenge of growing up is not growing old. The challenge of growing old is growing up, understanding, listening, caring, loving, learning, and valuing can only be truly attained by growth. And growth is the only foundation that can forever change and adapt to the waves of ambition when building and discovering your purpose. Thank you to the administration that has allowed me to do all I've done. Thank you to the teachers, the staff, the student council advisors, the coaches, the custodians, the maintenance men, and the bus drivers. Thank you to my mother and my father, and thank you to every parent and loved one that supported us through this journey. Most importantly, thank you to the class of 2023. I love you. Had it not been for you, I would never have made it to where I am today. It has been an honor to serve as Fairmont Senior Student Body President on this track to our purpose. And I couldn't be prouder of how you've grown, how you've changed, and how you've learned. And I cannot wait to see what future you hope for yourselves. Thank you. Now please give a warm round of applause to our principal, Mr. James Green. Thanks, Ro. <laughs> Seems like every time I have to get on stage nowadays, I'm following some speaker who just made everybody cry or laugh or something. So let's take a minute and get it all out. Wasn't nervous until Clara decided to tell me that I have big sweaty hands. <laughs> now I have big sweaty hands. I have a speech prepared, but now she's stuck doing whatever I'm riffing. So let's just see how much more I can, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome family and friends. This is a monumental occasion. These students before you have overcome mighty struggles to get where they are today. They've gone to school through labor strikes before they got to us in a global pandemic and yet here they are, the end of one journey and the beginning of another. Seniors, you are the next in a long line of graduates from a storied institution. You may have heard that a few times today earlier, right? Where many uh, alumni from Fairmont Senior have gone on to do legendary academic, <laughs> athletic, and artistic careers. They have flown past the speed of sound. They have set world records. They have created masterful works of art. And they have shaped the future for generations to come. Now you stand in that same spot ready to make your mark on the world. As you move on to the next step in your journey, take time to think about all that you have accomplished, but now is also the time to set your goals. Having a goal will keep you aligned with and allow you to stay focused on your future. Share your goal with others. Trusted friends and family members will support you in your journey and help you achieve your end goal. Take advantage of the knowledge those in your circle have, as their knowledge will help guide you. There will be pitfalls, and the journey to a worthy goal will not be easy. But again, you must continue to persevere. You have come so far in the last 12 years that you cannot let your journey end now. Expect that you will change, and those around you will change too. Use those changes, good or bad, to reinforce your steps in their journey towards your goal. I hope that in your time at Fairmont Senior, you have developed the tools to move towards your goals, whatever they may be. School, work, or the armed forces all require discipline, motivation, and determination. These tools have been given to you during your time at Fairmont Senior. What you do with them is now up to you. Go forward, make your family, your friends, and your school proud. Thank you. I now welcome Ms. Pelias to the podium. Now, without further ado, Superintendent Donner 
Dr. Donna Heston, and Principal Mr. James Green, the senior class of Fairmont Senior High School has completed the course of study outlined by the West Virginia State Board of Education, and we are now prepared to commence with the graduation ceremony. Caitlin Marie Abbott. Dominic Michael Armistead. James Kaylin Armstrong. Madison Jane Aubrey. <laughs> Ashlyn Elizabeth Bennington. <laughs> Nathaniel Russell Boyers. Angelia Boyle. Evan Michael Bragg. Hunter James Bragg. Abigail Rose Brannon. Anela Sky Butler. Azariah Jaden Cathy. Reese Martin Carpenter. Nicole Alexandra Ceballos. Adeline Rose Sanelli. Ian Patrick Sanelli. Noah Payden Clifton. <laughs> Kaylin Marie Cochran. <laughs> Veronica Jean Ann Corley. Reagan Grace Corwin. <laughs> Ashley 
Emma Rose Davis. Jalen Marie Devers. Ian Shea Debar. Caden Jude DeSellums. Roland Alina Dodd. Andrew Stephen Dorsey. Madison Page Dorsey. Christopher Glenn Drost. Denzel David Duvere. Ariana Marie Edwards. Stella Josefina Episcopo. Tyson Scott Feltz. Samuel Alexander Fisher. Nathaniel Scott Flower. Isetta Floyd. Landon Allen Fluharty. Abigail Faith Frederick. <laughs> Ethan Scott Frisbee. Ryan Rose Gallagher. Jared Riley Galloway. Georgia Reese Gonzalez. Deshaun Omarion Good. <laughs> Garrett Gunner Gooley.
Connor Riley Gower. Maya Elizabeth Gregory. Kathleen Marie Gribben. Avery Marie Guerreri. Clara Maxine Hager. Isabel Elise Hahn. Jaden Alexander Halterman. Colby Lee Hamilton. Kinsey Renee Hannigan. <laughs> Isabella Jolie Hannig. Capri Nathaniel Harmon. Janae Latrice Harold. <laughs> Haley Jade Harris. Aubrey Paige Harrison. Cole Reed Hawkins. J. 
Janisa Dove Hayes. Justin William Heflin. Ian Chapman Holbert. Michaela Elizabeth Hose. Matthew Paul Hovalt. Logan Marshall Huffman. Mason Allen Jack. Mia Lee Palmer Jackson. Kyra Lynn James. Madeline Grace Jenkins. Gabriana Nicole Johnson. Nicholas Jordan Jones. Rosario Emery Jones. <laughs> Haley Marie Jordan. Nathan Lane Kidd. Let's go, Lane. Carter Joe King. <laughs> Olivia Grace Nicely. Shaquille Emery Kawanda. Michael Christopher Krizel. Abigail Diane Laird. <laughs> Jalil Durrell Law. <laughs> Devin William Lemon.
Xavian Jawan Lewis Stubbs. Christopher Jacob Lewis. Jermaine Lewis. Lexus Mariah Lewis. Eliana Elizabeth Linger. Nicholas Trey Longwell. <laughs> Riley Ann Lowther. Gregory Michael Lyle. Salvatore Michael Marino. Sean Michael Martin. Brennan Jace Matheny. Jenica Marie Mayo. <laughs> Jacob Edward McDonald. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann McDougall. Brady Thomas McMullen. Deanna Jane McVicker. 
Raylan Javon Michael. Christian Thomas Miller. Kirk Andrew Mines. Cameron Patricia Morgan. Ryan Nathaniel Morris. Tyler Scott Morris. Peyton Riley Neal. Caden <laughs> Alexander Newton. Jada Annalise Oppio. <laughs> Nevaeh Grace Owens. Aaron Isabel Parker. <laughs> Emma Jade Patterson. <laughs> Brianna May Perkins. Jonna Alexandria Perkins. <laughs> Cole Matthew Pittman. <laughs> Nevea Michelle Primo. Cameron Lynn Price. <laughs> Trevin Anthony Price. <laughs> Jacob Police. Delaney Renee Pyle.
Nadia Shay Quick. Alexis K. Ramsey. Macy Allergy, excuse me, Macy Angelina Riggs. Gunner Ethan Riley. Ella Danielle Roberts. Elizabeth and Marie Rogers. Elizabeth Rebecca Rojas Williams. Lillian Sarah Sophia Rubenstein. Jolina Rose Richling. Gabriella Rose Satterfield. Jeannie Ellen Seidel. Desiree Nicole Shanks. Olivia Francis Jean Shreves. <laughs> Natalie Rose Sisler. <laughs> Kate Michelle Sevak. <laughs> Staley Renee Spencer. <laughs> Teresa Taylor Starin. <laughs> Levi Charles Styles. <laughs> Ezra Allen Stout. Skynan Joe Marie Summers. Jane Lillian Swenson.
Landon Robert Tasker. Lilith Monroe Taylor. <laughs> Griffin Aiden Thomas. Paris Tylan Thomas. <laughs> Sierra Babette Tichnell. <laughs> Amelia Lynn Telema. Audrey Morgan Tobesman. <laughs> Axel Rose Towns. <laughs> Kendall. Ryan Villers. Hans Cyrus von Schmidt. Madison Lynn Walters. <laughs> Layla Ray Warnick. Noah Bailey War. <laughs> Noah Madison Weaver. Braylon Zane Weekly. <clears throat> Ajene Joanna West. Alan Wong. 
right. <laughs> Reese Noel White. Isabella Ray Williams. <laughs> Latik Owen Williams. Chelsea Maria Wilson. <laughs> Shaheem Allen Wilson. Michaela Shea Woods. <laughs> Emily Louise Yost. Ladies and gentlemen, without further hesitation, we proudly present to you the Fairmont Senior High School graduating class of 2023. Graduates, please move your tassels. We will now have the chorus sing My Home Among the Hills.